Hello everyone and again welcome to this lecture. This is going to be a fast lecture. In this lecture I want to uh, go over the length of a vector and the distance between two vectors. So let's talk about the length of a vector. When we talk about the length of a vector we also say the norm of that vector or the magnitude of that vector. Now in R2 so in the next y plane, if we have the vector u here, these are the components, u1 and uh, u2. If I want to find the distance or that, uh, not the distance, but the norm of this vector, or the length of this vector, you uh, simply use the Pythagorean theorem. So it's going to be u1 squared plus u2 squared. That's u, the norm u squared. And when you see these lines, that means the map, we're calculating the magnitude. Or you can say just the magnitude of u equals to square root of u1 squared plus u2 squared. Now, here I put the, by definition, this was just in R2 for you to see that uh, how it works in R2 because we can visualize this. But in uh, generally in Rn, if you have a vector, I call that vector V. These are the components. And one more time, I use this notation, the angle brackets for the components of the vector. Then the norm of V is going to be square root of V1 squared plus V2 squared dot 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 plus Vn squared. If the norm of a vector is 1, then U is a unit vector. So we call that a unit vector. And uh, an example of that, I'm sure you have seen uh, i, j, k. So when we talk about i, j, k, the norm of i is 1, the norm of j is 1, and the norm of K is one. If you have seen that, it's very good. If you haven't, then uh, we're going to see this in the next videos. Now there's a theorem. He says uh, the norm uh, of C times V C being a scalar or a constant is the same thing as C times norm of V. A unit vector in the same direction of V can be written as U equals to V over norm of v because if you write that then if you find the norm of u then you will get one i'll do an example please be patient now let's talk about the distance between two vectors if you have two vectors vector u and vector v the distance people that's what we want to find so basically what we want to find is the distance between these two points and in this case, these are not components. So could be the components, but these are the coordinates of those points also. So if I want to find the distance between the vector u and v, just the norm of u minus v. So you can write that as u minus v, the component squared plus u, u1 minus v1 squared plus u2 minus v2 squared that also comes from the Pythagorean theorem. And that's going to give you the distance. And here, this is in R2. I put a note here in Rn, the distance between two vectors, you can use the same formula. And you can write those and stop at n the same way. So there's some properties of the distance between two vectors, the distance is always positive, greater or equal to zero. If the distance equals to zero, that happens if and only if u equals to v is the same vector. And the distance between u is the same thing as the distance between v u. Now here I pick a couple of little examples for you guys to see how we can use that. I'm giving, given a vector, find the norm or the magnitude of 
the magnitude of uh, or the norm of P. And second question, normalize U. Normalizing a vector, that means finding a unit vector in the same direction as, as U. So let's go ahead and see what the solution is. So norm of U is just U1 squared plus U2 squared plus U3 squared, and you take square root of that. So we have the components is one, two, three. So it's one squared plus two squared plus three squared. And if you calculate that, you get square root of 14. So the norm of U or the magnitude of U is square root of 14. If I want a part two, if I want to find a unit vector in the same direction as U, and I call that vector V, you just take the components and you divide it by the norm of u all three components so in this case is one over squared of 14 two over squared of 14 and three over squared of 14. in the next lectures you're going to see how we can use that so what we did in this case we normalized u that means we found a vector v which is in the same direction as u however the norm of v, if I calculate that's one over squared of 14 squared plus two over squared of 14 squared plus three over squared of 14 squared. And if you calculate that, you get one. Second example, that's a, an example of a distance. If you're given two vectors and I went to, I tried R3 here because that works, the distance formula for, works for Rn. So u is zero, the components are zero, two, two, and v is, the components of uh, v are two, zero, one. If I want to find the distance between u, v, write that first. It's just norm of u minus v. So if you want to find the norm of u minus v, that means you do the subtract the components. The first component of that is going to be 0 minus 2. The second component is 2 minus 0. And the third component is 2 minus 1. And again, when you do this damage, you want to find the magnitude. So basically, you can write it like that. The norm of that vector is just the first component squared plus the second component squared plus the third component squared. And if you calculate that, you get four plus four plus one, which is nine squared of nine is three. So the distance between these two vectors is three units. So whatever those uh, units are going to be, it could be, depends where you are, meters, feet, or uh, kilometers. So, okay, I think that's it for this lecture. It's a short lecture, but uh, watch it, and that way you can do some problems on your own. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.